All right, hello, welcome. So here's my use case. Uh, this is an example of some of the tools I've been developing for electroforming. Uh, the clips are available on my website, but as I develop them, I'm going to put them on the website. So right now, there's clips, these things, and there's a couple other things on the website. If you want to go check them out, they're in the description of this video. Along with the formula uh, for the dip I'm going to be sharing with you here in a little bit. In electroforming, we have to seal everything, especially like uh, chrysocolla. Uh, we got, it's a very soft stone. Um, this is malachite and chrysocolla. And in order to seal them, you can use nail polish, super glue, or my personal favorite is this dip that's in this can. Okay. Um, but in order to dip them, you must have some kind of lead wire on them. So what you want to do is have the lead wire going straight down onto the top of the stone because that way you can use them in compositions a lot easier. If it's on the back side, it doesn't work. If it's anywhere else, it's going to block your composition. So in this case, you can see that these are attached. Now, in order to hold those in place while the super glue and baking soda dry is this little clip. So, you can see the, that, and now this one's ready to dip. So, all I did there was, you know, grab a wire, shape it like that, put it in the clip. Boom. Now it's got some tension, and then I can insert any stone that I want under that wire, go like that, add super glue, let it run down the wire, and then I got some baking soda in this little travel thing, and boom, and if you, if it didn't get on the other side, you could add some more. And that'll come off later with the acetone. So we got this little thing right here. This is another one that's going to be on the website soon. So to keep your baking soda all nice and fresh. And the difference is it's got magnets on the bottom. So boop. I can't spell baking soda everywhere. <laughs> so <laughs> my theme is magnets. I love them. So these are magnetic clips. Uh, they use a little like six millimeter by two millimeter. I will print and ship these. Uh, so if you're interested in those, I will. And no, I'm not gonna share the file this time. So, good times. That is a good use case. Now, let's say one's done, and that one over here was done. Boop. Now I can pick up this whole tray, and I can put it somewhere else out of my way. Because who has space, right? And then, grab my dip. And with this dip, think of it as a very thin varnish that I teach you how to make. It's without the conductive uh, part of it, so I'll share with you the recipe in the description um, that you can purchase. And it allows you to then blow off some of the baking soda and then dip the stone. Done. Okay, and then how do you hook it to something so it dries and drips out of your way, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that. It is another clip. So just take a clip, hook it to this, and then attach it to something. I use a fan. Uh, put it in front of the fan for a while.
And I'll get about 15 to 20 of those going at any one case. So you can see I got bags of these things that need to be all sealed. And that way I can use them for all the compositions. And then when you're done, you just put back your quart lid. Stuff, and if it dries out, you just add more of the other stuff to it to reliquify. It never goes bad. Um, even if it evaporated all the way, which it has for me, you just dump more of the liquid back into it, the solvent for it, and it will renew. After that, I generally spray it with a matte enamel also. It could be like Krylon or anything else. because And what that will do, it will make it so when you uh, um, paint it with conductive paint, it doesn't creep onto the stone. Sometimes if you don't have enough, um, the surface is too smooth and your bath has got some different compositions going on, it will creep onto the stone. So having a matte finish will, one, let the paint adhere a little bit better and then also prevent that creep from happening. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the little like demo thing and that's basically how it rolls. More tools to come. Enjoy.